salutations you guys to see it in here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. We're starting off today at the Veterans Care to get some close sauces. And water to come check out the store. Oh, thank you. All right, I just found this like versus Versace bag, but I have no clue if it's authentic. Um, it's leather, and this part like started kind of like coming off a little bit. Versus Versace. We'll think about it. You guys, I just found a fake Michael Kors, and they actually priced it accordingly as a fake Michael Kors. I'm so proud of them for knowing that it was fake. <laughs> okay, I'm just looking to see what else they have. I haven't really noticed anything new other than this um, versus Versace bag that I found. Why does this look kind of fun though? $10? Who even makes this? There's a little tag right here. Let's see what it says. Am I going to be able to do this one-handed? Um, doesn't really have a name or anything. Hmm. Maybe no? They still have that Michael Kors bag, but it's like 75 bucks, so... Waiting on that one to hopefully go on sale, and if it's still here, then we'll get it. Let's play one. Alright, that's it for the handbag. Let's go check out the rest of the store. I just found this Barney thing. I don't exactly know what it is. It looks like it has some marks on it that I don't know if it's like a stain. But it was $5. Hmm. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Alright, looking at sunglasses. Those are some House of Holland sunglasses, some Michael Kors. There's a coach wallet over there, some key sunglasses. Four keys. Wow, look at those Louboutins. Those are major looking. $300 though. Look at that heel. I don't think those are actually real though, which is the sad part, because they get real Louboutins here all the time, I feel like. But they always put the fake ones in the case. It's just, I mean, I don't know. But, nothing else really exciting in here. Still have this Mark Chica. We want Hello Kitty bag. We love Hello Kitty. And... Whoa! Okay. We got a jumper. Oh. Someone wants to come home with us. Sorry bag, can't take you all home. A giant M&M bag, that's fun. It's a Betsy Johnson. Mine West, Kroger. US luggage. You guys, I just found like the men's equivalent to like Dorothy's ruby red slippers. <laughs> These are super cute too. They're right, bright bank shoe club, but they're like a hundred bucks. You guys, they have these cute Pradas, and like they rip like this little part right here, the DA part got like taken off. But these are cute, like little whatever these are called. Seventy-five bucks. Maybe I'll wait for these to go on sale. I mean, the Prada part isn't like so noticeable because like the little bow is covering it. I wonder if the other, like the mate to the shoe is missing the thing as well. All right, they didn't really have anything too exciting other than um, those 
Pradas here in the shoe section. Uh, so, yeah, let's go check out another section. <laughs> I was looking really quickly here in the pants, and I did find these um, riding pants by American Apparel, made in USA. I feel like um, riding anything is usually really expensive. So I'm like, should I get these? I do not know. Then I also found this um, Halloween sweater. And it's by a company called Bingo Something Knitting Co. Incorporated. High quality custom knitwear made in USA. So I feel like this is fancy. And it's really cute because it's Halloween. So you guys, I found this um, tracksuit with like cherries on it. It looks stained though. But it's like kind of cute. So it has the pants. And there's also the hoodie, but the hoodie is cropped. And how much is it? So the hoodie is $10. I guess because it's cropped. And then the pants are $24. Too bad, they're like kind of cute. Alright, let's go home show you guys what I got. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I got some goodies right here to share with you guys. I'm super duper excited. Um, so let's just hop into it. I just got a few little things. Um, first things first, I got the Y2K hat. I thought it was too fun to pass up. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember Y2K? Like we all thought our computers were going to just like the whole world was just gonna implode on itself because all the computers were gonna like reset or not turn on or something like it was like this whole thing so um it's cool to find this 010100 hat this was two dollars <laughs> it's coming so yeah i thought this was cool um and I had to get it so this is gonna be definitely available in the shop if anyone is interested i don't know if i'm gonna put it in the live or not but i don't know maybe um, then up next, I had to get this really cool Missoni top. I'm hoping I can wash it and remove the stain that's on it, because it does have a few, like, little stains on there, but I thought I would try it for $5, just because I thought this was such a cool piece. It kind of looks like a biker, like, for, like, people that, like, bike, like, on bicycles, um... Like, this is what their, like, shirts kind of look like. I don't know. I just thought this was pretty cool. So, I picked it up. Um, it's a size medium. And hopefully, I can get those, like, blue stains out. I'm going to ask Mom if she can do it because she's, like, a pro at getting out stains. Like, there's, like, a light stain, like, right there. I don't know if it's coming up on camera because the lighting is, like, so saturated right now because I'm, like, literally filming at midnight. Um, but... Yeah, so I had to pick this up. I thought it was a really cool find. And then I have one other thing that I ended up getting, and it is this Versus Versace crossbody bag. It's in this patent leather. Uh, it's kind of like a yellow color. And then it has yellow or pink, white, and then a bright yellow, um, like, plastic, acrylic chain. And then the chain also runs through the crossbody strap as well. And it doesn't, like scream like Versace or anything on it but I thought it was still cool uh, and then the inside says versus Versace right inside made in Italy it has just one interior zipper pocket right there and you can actually remove the chain and then you can use this kind of like a clutch so I thought that was pretty cool you can carry it like this if you wanted so there's a different a couple different ways you can carry this bag and I just thought it was a fun little um, bag it actually kind of matches this one so i thought that was like a really cool um thing that the the bat like the bag and the shirt actually match together so that actually is gonna be it for today that ends the video if you guys enjoyed the video please consider giving it a big thumbs up i had so much fun taking you guys in the store i've been going to the store uh every day this week for just a few minutes like I, I would just run through the store 20 minutes and see what I can find. And I've been finding some really, really great stuff. And I've been going every single day. So, like I always tell you guys, my best advice I can give you to find amazing things at Thrift is to increase the frequency that you go and try to go as many times and as often times as possible because then you'll have more chance of finding awesome things. So, go check it out. Let me know if you guys have found anything cool recently because I always love hearing about your finds as well. They make me so happy when you guys send me cool DMs of, like, amazing things that you guys find. Handbags, home decor, clothes 
clothing pieces, shoes, anything, let me know. If you guys tag it, if you guys post anything on Instagram, definitely tag me on there so I can share it with the rest of the squad. Um, don't forget to check out tomorrow's new video, bright and early at 7 a.m. I love you guys immensely. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All right, bye.